Are you as passionate about cars and motorbikes as we are? Subscribe to this channel to receive newly uploaded video. Please don't forget to like and share this video to your friends and family. Today's video we are going to talk why the Ferrari F12 is now a million dollar supercar. Here's why the Ferrari F12 TDF is now a million dollar supercar. Ferrari as a brand has been known to push the limits. An aspirational mark that every young boy dreams of owning one day. Through their relentless pursuit for perfection, Ferrari has mastered the art of building engaging supercars. Over the years, Ferrari has offered a lot of cars that could potentially leave a lot of its owners in a coffin. While that's true of certain Ferraris, one that's certain is the F12 TDF, a genuinely frightening car according to many motoring journalists. The F12 TDF is a $620,000 limited-run souped-up version of the already bonkers F12 Berlinetta. Although everything Ferrari has done across the board is largely incremental, the overall package is far from normal. Folks at Marinello have brought out the best of what the F12 can be and boy are we in for a treat. With track-level performance on road, the F12 TDF is a treat reserved for the wealthy. Since all of the TDFs are sold out, pre-owned ones fetch well over a million dollars. Let's delve into what makes the Ferrari F12 TDF worth way over list. The Ferrari F12 TDF is a spiritual successor to the 250 GTB that raced in the legendary Tour de France. A race that showed the might of the car in terms of performance and reliability, the 250 GT at one point used to rack up a win in every race it contested. Ferrari retired the name in the 70s when the race met its end. Ferrari however, resurrected the moniker with the F12 TDF in 2015. Backed by a rich history coupled with its rarity along with customers commissioning heavily optioned bespoke units, there's really no surprise in why the F12 TDF is fetching seven-figure sums. The F12 TDF uses a 6.3-liter naturally aspirated V12 seen in the F12 Berlinetta. Power is up from 730 to 770 horsepower while torque jumps from 509 to 520 pound-feet. Ferrari uses the same 7-speed dual-clutch transmission albeit with 30% faster upshifts and 60% faster downshifts. Also part of the package is the carbon ceramic brake sourced from the LaFerrari. The F12 TDF manages sub-3 second sprints to 60 miles per hour which is insane for a rear-wheel drive car. One thing that remains similar to the Berlinetta is its top speed which stands at 211 miles per hour. Every Ferrari is a visual treat. All Ferraris use a certain amount of passion and flair matched only by its closest adversary, Lamborghini. Every line that flows along the bodywork is made with a purpose. Compared to the Berlinetta, the F12 TDF is an aerodynamic overkill. Cuts and creases adorn the front fascia that aid in reduced lift and brake cooling. The aero bridge has been improved to work in tandem with the front bumper inserts. Introduced in the F12 Berlinetta, the aero bridge improves the overall downforce without having the need for a conventional spoiler. There are special inserts on the rear quarter windows that flick the air across the top towards the rear end for streamlined airflow. There are cutouts that resemble the gills of a shark on the rear quarter panels to relieve turbulent air off the wheel wells. Moving to the rear, twin exhaust outlets flank either side with optional carbon fiber surrounds. An active rear diffuser manages the air flowing underneath the car, much like DRS for the road. All these help the F12 TDF stick to the road whilst pulling extreme Gs. Ferrari has made sure to keep the design as clean as possible, without needing larger spoilers that could ruin the looks. As the F12 Berlinetta is a beautiful piece of machinery, Ferrari stayed true to their design ethos with Pininfarina taking care of the rest. The F12 Berlinetta wasn't short of power to begin with, so naturally, Ferrari decided to give it more power and call it the TDF. While the experience is nothing short of magnificent, we'll go as far as to say it's a bit terrifying as well. What car does skids with traction on? What car has every chance of wrapping itself around a tree? The F12 TDF. If you're to exploit the full potential of a TDF, you seriously know your way through cars. Not a lot of people can push the TDF to its limits and those who can are in for the most engaging experience they could think of. 
Ferrari has slapped 275 section tires up front and given rear wheel steering to counter the understeer induced, not that you'll ever come across understeer in a TDF shall we say. Together, the setup brings quick directional changes that make tackling tight chicanes a breeze. The F12 TDF will make you wet your pants every time it reaches its 9000 revolutions per minute redline. In essence, it's a very twitchy supercar that's rewarding and frightening at the same time. Being limited to just 799 units worldwide and having the Ferrari badge up front, no wonder the F12 TDF is selling for a premium. Sadly, most of the TDFs end up in high-priced garages where owners rarely take them out. If you see a wild F12 TDF in action, embrace the moment for you won't be seeing a lot of them out and about. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments or something in your mind you want to share, let us know comment down below. Hope you liked the video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel and Facebook channel. Keep safe and have a good day.